Hi everyone, this is Zeba from My Little Journal and I'm really excited to share my favorite products for 2018. I chose 18 products. There is a bonus product. This is not scrapbooking related, but I decided to add it to this video because I get asked a lot um, in the comments about this little bonus product. So let's get to it. I'm gonna start, of course, with my ink pads. I have shared with you guys my love for scrapbook.com's ink pads. These are a new favorite of mine. I've been using them for the past few months and I'm loving them. Now these ink pads come in groups of four. So the pinks come in four, the yellows come in four, and they're all numbered. So these are perfect to use for those buildable stamp sets. And I'm gonna share with you a favorite of mine. But I also love my acrylics. I link these in all my description box. They are actually come in fours, but these three are my favorite, and the little mini one is on the top, honestly. My chamois, this guy is always next to me when I'm stamping. It cleans off my stamps fast and easy, so that definitely goes into my favorites. Now I'm going to grab a buildable stamp set. This is a new one that I got around, I believe, Black Friday. And I haven't used it yet, but I thought it was the perfect time to share with you how you can use those ink pads to build your flowers or whatever the case is. Now, I'm going to start by using my premium dye ink from scrapbook.com. This has taken over for my favorite black ink. Uh, now, this is not water resistant, so I don't use it in my mixed media or anything like that, but I use it on my spreads and my layouts. I'm gonna share with you how crisp this black ink is. Once I stamp out my flower, it is so crisp and beautiful. It's definitely going up there. It's like literally next to my archival ink and you guys know how much I love my archival black ink. Used my chamois to clean off my stamp. Very easy, very simple. Now I don't share with you guys when I clean off my stamps when I'm creating layouts, but literally this is all I use. I just use my chamois. Now I'm gonna start building this flower. Look how crisp that is. I'm gonna start building my flower with my pink ink pads from scrapbook.com. And I'm gonna start with the number three. You can start from whichever number you want. Uh, you can start from one. One is really, really light, but I really love this color and the number two. So I'm just gonna go with it. And then I'll use number three to build my flower. It's such an easy process because the colors are numbered for you. So you don't have to think about which colors go well together and which ink pad you should start with. Just because they're numbered, it's so easy to work with and use. And you're going to see how beautiful and crisp the stamping is. I'm in love, you guys. I've been promoting these ink pads for a while, but honestly, I'm loving them. And all my friends that I've told them to go and grab a few colors have, and they're loving them also, so definitely recommend them. Uh, anyways, I'm going to grab some green ink just to finish up my flower. I want to add the stem and just wanted to share with you how beautiful these flowers are. And I'm going to be using it more often and sharing with you some layouts using the stamp set. Uh, by the way, that green is one of my favorites. The guacamole and the olive are my favorites if you are looking for a beautiful green color. But anyways, you guys, so these are my top stamping products. My ink pads, my acrylic blocks, those acrylic blocks, I add them and link them to all my videos because I love them so much, and my chamois. So if you're a stamp lover like me, these are definitely a have to, or if you're a beginner, I definitely recommend these ink pads, the acrylic blocks, and the chamois. Okay, let's move on to my favorite stamps. I'm starting with my favorite alphas. These first two are from Kelly Perky. That Cobble Hill is a new favorite, and I know it was restocked, so if you want to check it out, but it's definitely a new favorite. I've been stamping it nonstop. I love the Bowie Alpha Stamp from Studio Calico. It's really bold and big and beautiful on a traveler's notebook layout. This one's from Carrie Bradford. These are the extra large alphas. Really love that stamp set. These are like these are my top alphas that I tend to grab or use when I'm working in my traveler's notebook. And now I'm going to be sharing my favorite pattern stamp sets. Now, my first one is from Feed Your Craft. This is the Pattern Play. 
I've like used this so much. It's all black now, but it is a favorite. The Pink Fresh Studio stamp set is another beautiful pattern stamp set that you can add to kind of layer your layout and add a little something in the background. These are just perfect for that. I really love the plus signs and the circles. It's just perfect. These next set of stamp sets, like this uh, Monthly Matter stamp set from Feed Your Craft, I use it to add the month to my Studio Calico Traveler's Notebooks. It fits perfectly, and I love the font on the, the stamp sets. It's just beautiful. I also really love this one from Studio Calico. I use this so much to document our recent travels to the Philippines, and um, I'm going to be sharing a flip through of my uh, like vacation album very soon. You're going to see how much I use that stamp set in that travel album. This next one is from Feed Your Craft. This is the Let's Eat stamp set. This was designed by In a Creative Bubble. Love that one to document your meals. Really pretty stamp set. And this one's from Kelly Perky. I believe this one's sold out. It's an old one, but it's a, definitely a favorite. It just has really cute fra f phrases that are perfect to uh, document your favorite people. Now, my favorite uh, floral stamps are from Alta New. I've shared these before. I love stamping these flowers on white cardstock and fussy cutting them out and adding them as layers to my layout and my photo. They are just simple and beautiful, and I actually just recently bought the die cuts for them. Um, I think it was Black Friday sale, and I'm so happy I did because I was fussy cutting these out, but I use them so much, so I decided to get the die cuts. Now, this next product is definitely a favorite. It's the Tim Holtz stamp platform. This is the mini or the travel size, and I have this on my desk at all times. You can use rubber stamps or clear stamps. I don't use rubber stamps a lot, but definitely it works perfectly for my clear stamping. You can double stamp and always have a perfect image. And this is kind of perfect for alpha stamps, like your title. When you stamp out a title, it's, it gives you those lines, so you always stamp your title on a straight line. So love this little platform, and it always sits on my desk. Another product that's always on my desk is my Tonic Trimmer. This is 6x6 six six trimmer. I believe it's a 6x6. Six six. But you can only use a f about a 4x6, I believe. Um, that's fine for me because I love using this to trim down my small pieces of cardstock when I'm creating in my traveler's notebook or my project life to trim down my photos. I use this all the time. You guys see it in all my videos. And I always have it linked in all my videos. But you can trim small, small pieces, large pieces. It's just perfect to have on your desk on hand when you need a trimmer really quickly. This next product is the Tiny Attacher. I've been using this for years, I think since it came out, and I still am using the same Tiny Attacher I bought years ago. I drop it, <laughs> uh, my kids use it, and it's still survived. I have not had to like, you know, buy a new one or anything like that. And these little tiny staples are just perfect to add texture to your spread. Um, I love to use it to just go ahead and staple my layers and then stick my layers down together. So it's a great little step to do before you stick down your layers. This next little product is my tiny, tiny date stamp. I love small date stamps. I love large ones too. I love the Studio Calico ones, but this one's just perfect to add to your spread or your title card when you're working your project life. And um, it's really easy to use. I just love that it's really small and I can add more than one date on a little three by four card. So it's definitely a favorite. Um, I'm really loving this little date stamp and the price is perfect. It's not expensive. I don't remember how much I paid for it, but I remember it was not expensive. But as always, I believe I always have a link for this date stamp in my videos, but I will also link it in this video for you guys to check out. 
Now let's move on to my favorite adhesives. Now I'm going to start with my scrapbook.com. This one's really strong, you guys. You, if you stick something down, it's really hard to remove it. So if you're looking for something that's strong and will hold, I definitely recommend the scrapbook.com roller tape. Um, but then I am in love with these um, adhesives that I use all the time. I do not know how to pronounce the name, so I'm not going to even attempt to do that, but I will add the link down below. Now, the great part of these adhesives that I love so much that you can remove it. So if you stick down some and then you decide you don't want your layer or your papers uh, like in that spot, you can just use your finger and remove that adhesive. So I love that. This stuff is strong and it's not going anywhere, but at the same time, you can remove it, which is perfect. I love that. So I'm going to share with you how if you stuck down a pattern paper and try to remove the scrapbook.com stuff, it's kind of hard and it will probably tear your paper. So that's some strong stuff. These next two, I can still remove my paper and I can actually put it back so it's still going to stick. And I love this tape because I changed my mind a lot. So these are perfect for that. And that scrapbook.com one is perfect to just stick something down and make sure it doesn't go anywhere. Next up are these Avery L envelopes. I use these for my stamp sets. I love cohesiveness. I love everything to look the same. So I use these. I think they're a pack of 50. I get them from Amazon. And all I do is trim down some white cardstock to fit. And I just slide in my stamp sets. So these are just perfect. They're really hefty duty. And they're better than the plastic you get your stamp sets in. So all I do is just add my cardstock, I add my stamp set, and I actually use this amazing little label maker. This stuff is, this label maker is really cheap, but it's been working for me. I just use it to add a little label. Um, I always add the brand, so the manufacturer and the name of the stamp set. So I'll add um, Kelly Perky, let's say, and then the name of the stamp set with my label maker. And I also add two mini stamp sets, so those I think they're three by fours. So two of them will fit in your Avery L envelope. So that's perfect to save some space in your craft room. Moving on, of course, my selfie printer has to make it to this video. I use this thing almost daily. I print all my project life photos using my selfie printer, all my traveler's notebook photos, anything that I want to print that has to do with photos, I use the selfie printer. Mine is really old. I've had it for years. This is uh, an old um, selfie printer, but now they have new ones that look better and probably work better, but mine has been working for years and I have never had a problem. Love this printer. I do have a tutorial. I will add it up at the eye, how I use my selfie printer to print out different sizes and also how I use different apps to brighten up my photos and add journaling to my photos. So this is definitely a favorite and I definitely recommend it. Moving on, my zip printer. This guy is so small and perfection. Now, this does not print as well as a selfie printer. Uh, they, your photos do come out like darker, not as crisp. But I love this thing because I use it in my daily journal. I love to print these small uh, photos. And by the way, that is sticky paper. So it's like little stickers. And I love to use it in my get to work book. I love my get to work book. This planner, look how hefty and big it is. But I'm in love with this planner. I actually bought a 2019 because I'm sticking to this planner for 2019. And this is what I love about my zip printer. I use my zip printer to print out my little tiny photos for every single day in my calendar. I love doing this because it helps me with my project life. I just look back on my get to work book and see what photos I took and you know the week and all that good stuff. So the zip printer is perfect for that. The photos are not crisp, are not amazing. But I still love that I can print these small photos and add them in my get to work book.
And this is something I wanted to share with you in this video, how I use my Get to Work book. I doodle, I add my photos, I use it kind of as a memory keeper, planner, um, store my photos, it helps me with my project life, my traveler's notebook layouts, all these things and I keep up. This is the only month I can share with you guys because that's the month we were traveling so there's not a lot of personal things. But the rest of the months I use like um, to keep up with my creative team projects, my work projects, all these things goes into my Get to Work book. I love this thing. And by the way, I'm not sponsored uh, by Get to Work book. I just want to share the love because this planner is amazing and you guys definitely need to check it out. Next up are the Nouveau Drops. You guys know how much I love my crystal drops. But these are the new matte crystal drops. You guys, I had to purchase them right away because I was like, I need to add them to my uh, little collection of crystal drops. I'm going to share with you how they look. So the regular glossy crystal drops, I'm just grabbing the same color, um, have a gloss to them. The matte does not. And I love them. I only purchased these six colors. I believe they have eight out right now, so I will definitely wait a little bit until they release some new colors and then start purchasing all of them. I thought I would try them out first before I purchased all the colors, but I love them so much. You can see how like dark and opaque the color is. It's just beautiful. And I'm just going to go ahead and share with you all the colors that I already have. So these are a new favorite for 2018, even though I just purchased them probably a month ago. But I'm loving them. I've been using them nonstop on projects and layouts. So definitely recommend the matte, especially if you're not a glossy kind of person. Uh, definitely grab these matte ones. So look how beautiful those colors are. And they're matte. They're just perfection. So definitely I will add a link for these crystal drops in the description box for you. Next up is my stamp pad. I've been asked about these a lot or this mat for a while. I just add it behind my layout and start stamping. It just helps when the layout behind the spread you're working on in your traveler's notebook is bumpy. So sometimes it, you're not going to get the perfect stamp, but it will help big time, especially if you have some bumpiness in the background or on the opposite page. So definitely check out the stamp uh, pad. It's not expensive either. You guys know I don't buy expensive things. So definitely recommend it and I will add a link. These are my favorite mini doilies. I use them nonstop. And if you've been watching my videos, you know I use doilies a lot. These are from Doodlebug. I purchased these from scrapbook.com, from Amazon. Wherever I can find them cheaper, I will purchase them. Uh, and I love how small they are. You can see that was a two by two and I believe a three by two, but they just work perfectly to layer your photos and your pattern paper. They come in different colors. Now I only use white, but lately a friend of mine sent me some black black doilies and some happy mail and I've fallen in love so I believe I'm going to be purchasing some of the different colors uh, most likely black uh, because those are the top two colors I always use on my spreads but they're just the perfect size and the price is right so definitely recommend these mini doilies from Doodlebug. Next up are my favorite scissors now, these pink ones are from American Craft. They are not expensive at all. You get actually, I think, five in one pack. And now I'm missing a few because my daughter comes in here and steals my scissors all the time. But I love that they're cheap and they come in fives. So if you are not into purchasing expensive scissors, definitely look for those American craft ones. Now these are the Tim Holtz. They are pricey, but they are amazing. This is a new favorite, by the way, this black one. I just purchased it recently and I'm loving it because I can kind of cut larger paper. So definitely recommend these. Now this is the bonus 
non-crafty thing is my favorite nail polish. I've been asked a lot about this nail polish. Um, I don't know what it is. I know I love it very much and my subscribers always ask me about it. So I thought I would just share it here on my favorites. Now this is made by OPI. I will add a link for it down in the description box, but it's such a beautiful matte pink. It's almost nude and I love it very, very much. Now, last but not least, my typewriter. I purchased this two years ago, I believe, a Black Friday sale from scrapbook.com, and I use it to type out all my journaling. I hate my handwriting, so this thing definitely saves me. Uh, I just type out whatever the case is, my journaling, probably cut them in strips and add them to a traveler's notebook layout, or I'll type on my 3x4 cards, my 4x6 cards for my project life. I love this typewriter. Now, it's not perfect, and you're not going to get perfect journaling. If you want something like that, definitely use your laptop or your computer to print out your journaling. But this just gives it a vintage -y look, and it looks really cool on any project. So, And it's easy. It's just sitting there, so it's fast to use. Anyways, you guys, that is it. Those are my top 18 favorite crafty supplies for 2018. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. And don't forget, I add all the links for everything I shared in this video down in the description box for you. I hope you have a wonderful New Year's full of fun, joy, and love. Bye, guys.